Hello, I am Sujoy and today I will tell you how to do double differentiation or how to find double derivative on Casio FX 9860D2 graphing calculator and how to find f of x and dy by dx on Casio FX 901ES scientific calculator. Also, I will tell you how to do differentiation without using a calculator manually. So, let's start. So, these are f of x or function of x which is x cube minus 10x square. Find d square y by dx square at x equals to 5. So, we have to find out double differentiation of this function. So, what is a function? A function is nothing but an expression or a polynomial of x where we will put your desired value of x and you will get something in return. That something is called y or f of x because x is variable here. So, let's proceed to solution. f of x also called y equals to x cube minus 10x square given in the question. Next we will find f prime x also called y prime or dy by dx equals to 3x square minus 20x. This is original function, this is differentiated function. The logic for differentiation is when x to the power something that something power will come in forward. So, x to the power 3, 3 will come forward and x power will reduce by 1. So, x to the power 3 minus 1 is x to the power 2 minus 10 will remain same again x to the power 2 will come forward so 2 into 10 is 20 and x to the power 2 minus 1 is x to the power 1 or x so it will become minus 20x and next we will find f double prime x also called y double prime or d square y by dx square which is equals to 6x minus 20 again same logic x to the power will come forward. So, 2 into 3 is 6. x to the power 2 minus 1 is x to the power 1 or x. That is 6x minus 20 remains same because in differentiation constant or numeric values remain same. And in differentiation variable goes out. So, he, variable is x which will go out. So, there is minus 20 only. Now, if we put x equals to 5 in each of them you will get this. Let's calculate. When x equals to 5, f of x is x cube minus 10x square. By putting x equals to 5 here, you will get 5 cube minus 10 into 5 square equals to minus 125. Now if you put x equals to 5 in dy by dx, which is 3x square minus 20x, it will become 3 into 5 square minus 20 into 5 equals to minus 25. Next, if we put x equals to 5 in d square y by dx square, it will be 6x minus 20 by putting x equals to 5, 6 into 5 minus 20 is 10. These are our required answer at x equals to 5. And now I will tell you how to do double differentiation directly on this calculator. For that, you have to be in run and mathematics mode. So, if you are not in that mode, press menu and 1 for run mathematics mode. Then, then press option f4 for calc and f3 for d square y by dx square. Enter the f of x which is x cube minus 10x square. Press alpha and this plus button for x, this button for 2 the power, type 3, scroll right, minus 10, press alpha, plus button for x again and this button for square. Scroll right and enter x equals to 5. Then press execute button. So, you will get d square y by ds square of our function at x equals to 5 is 10 which we calculated earlier. Now, I will tell you how you can find out dy by dx. For that, press f2 to get dy by dx. Enter the expression again alpha plus for x to the power 3 scroll right minus 10 alpha plus for x this button for square scroll right x equals to 5 press execute. So, dy by dx at x equals to 5 is minus 25 which we calculated earlier. And now I will tell you how to calculate f of x and dy by dx on this calculator. For that, press alpha 
and this button for x shift and x square for cube minus 10 alpha this button for x and this button for square press calc and enter x equals to 5 and press equals to so f of x at x equals to 5 is minus 125 press ac to clear screen then press shift and this integration button to get derivative operator enter the function again alpha x shift square for cube minus 10 alpha x square scroll right and enter x equals to 5 and press equals to so you will get dy by dx at x equals to 5 is minus 25 now if you want to know about integration and differentiation in detail then watch my previous two videos explaining differentiation and integration in details in two different videos so this was the preview of my previous video on differentiation and this is the preview of my previous video on integration using real life problems so that's it for now share your views in the comment section below and don't forget to like and share the video so thanks for watching see you in my next video and still then stay connected by subscribing